Ever since I posted that video about the Burris Oracle X range finding crossbow scope, I've gotten a lot of questions from friends of Bungie who need a little help setting it up. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm changing things around a little bit and I've been sighting it in today. I'm good out to 20 yards. I finally got it dead on. You begin the old sighting in process with a scope like this by dialing it in at 20 yards with the fixed reticles first. So that is going to be crossbow to crossbow specific. If I take this scope off of this crossbow and put it on a different crossbow, it'll memorize the arrows when I bring it back and put it on this crossbow, but the 20 yard reticle still needs to be adjusted every time that you move it from one crossbow to another, or if you go from one arrow setup to another. Nice thing about it is though, it will memorize those arrow setups. That's pretty handy. And you gotta be careful because you got little Allen wrench screws here. Don't back them out too far. You gotta loosen them up enough that you can turn the dial, but you don't wanna back them out so far that they come out and then you lose them on the floor and it takes half an hour to find them. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so be careful with that. And also there's another one up here that's kind of hard to get to. You have to, when the crossbow is uncocked, reach through here and reach that little screw. It's, it can be done, right? If you look down there, the first shot was the bottom left. It was quite high. Second shot was the middle left and it didn't go down any, even though I had adjusted the elevation. And the reason for that is I turned it the wrong way. <laughs> so I wasn't even dialing it back there. So third shot, it started to come back down a little bit when I finally figured out right from left and up from down, all that sort of thing. Or you think at this age, I'd know up from down and right from left. My last shot though, I'm pretty happy with dead center on the upper middle. I am now dialed in at 20 yards, real happy with that 20 yard shot. So I'm gonna go through the process of truing this. That's what they call it. We're now gonna abandon the fixed reticle because we have that dialed in perfect. And we're gonna work only with the digital reticles inside the scope. I am going to try and mimic that and put it on the screen for you so you can see that truing process, kind of make sense of it. Here goes. First, I'm gonna line up my 20 yard reticle and then turn the scope on by pushing the range button. That's the big round button on top of the eyepiece, and that turns on the scope. And when I hit that button again, it tells me that that block is at precisely 30 yards. That's good because we have to start our truing at 30 yards. You can't true at less than 30. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna push the range button and the up button arrow simultaneously at the same time for three seconds. It's gonna say 1.17. That's the software version, I think, inside the scope. That's what it says on mine. Yours may be newer or like a higher number or a lower number, but that's all that means. Don't get too confused by that. Once I've done that, it gives me the menu. It says menu at the top with some blinking arrows for up or down. I'm gonna select down. My first option is bolt. My next menu option is units. I don't wanna change that. I like yards, not meters because these are 30 yards here. And then my third one is truing, yay. Now on mine, when it says truing, you've got a blinking arrow to the right. And I'm going to hit that and it's gonna say, it's gonna give me the options and I can push up and down and scroll through the various settings. I have it currently at 30, 43, three is 60 and four is 72. Now, if I go down, we're back up to number one. And again, you can go up and down in this menu at any time. If I arrow to the left, it's gonna take me out of this menu setting back to the truing menu option, right? So I can go back like that. If I hit right again, no big deal, it takes me right back in there, but I'm on number four, which was the last one I set. I'll hit down again and go back to number one, set at 30, and I'm gonna to arrow to the right this time, and it's gonna start range finding and blinking. So what I'm gonna do now, it has my red dot at the 20 yard reticle, the fixed reticle, I don't want that. I'm just gonna use the range finder real quick and boom, instantaneously it tells me 30 yards is that shot. What I'm gonna do now, you'll notice the little dot has dropped down below that 20 yard crosshair. So what I am going to do is take a poke at 30 yards using the red dot. I'm gonna shoot where the red dot is. From now on, that is my reticle. Anytime you're using the range finding option, you're using the reticle. I also will point out here that I'm not using the little built-in uh, Bluetooth remote for this. That's after we get it set up and trued. This is gonna be pretty close, I think, but since I've been playing with it a little bit, I'm betting it needs a little help. I am gonna aim at the little star above 
the block, the B block. I have my safety off. It's number one. And then there you'll see that at the top, it's showing me that the crossbow is level. And that's awful nice because that's going to make a difference here, obviously. Now we're only worried about elevation here. I do not care about windage. That was dead on. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully it picked it up. Dead on at 30. Now, because that's dead on at 30, right? I am going to hit the right button. Boom. One. Done. Takes me automatically to number two, set at 43 yards. Now, you can see where we hit there. We're real happy with 30. Let's go look at this other little target here. We, this time, are going to be shooting at that target. I'll try and get it in focus for you. It looks like it's focused nice. It's now blinking two, set 43 yards. I'm going to arrow to the right, and you'll see that our little red dot is now back at the 20-yard reticle. But I'm going to arrow to the right as though we're going to set that. That's all that's doing is it's telling the crossbow that it wants to be set. Now you'll see there's a little Y there, and there's a blinker above it, a couple of dashes going back and forth. I'll try to recreate this in the video. I don't have a way of doing this through the scope, but I am going to use a range finding tool, 40 yards. Okay, that's, that's well, very good. Gives me a new red dot, and it's awaiting a shot at 40 yards. And then, ooh, that was a sloppy shot. That's the problem with a tripod like this. That is upper right. I am going to assume that the windage was off a little bit because of me. That's all my fault. But if that shot really was high, maybe that means that I didn't need to lift the barrel quite as high. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the red dot on the target. And then I am just going to click up the up arrow once. And you'll see it lines up next to that arrow where the arrow hit on the elevation. And then I am going to go to the right. Kaboom. It says two. Done. Now it's blinking that it wants me to do number three, but we're not going to do that just yet. Once that's done, you hit the left button. Again, we got to know our left from our right, but you hit that left button. It'll back you out of that menu, back to the truing menu option. And then you hit left again, and it takes you completely out of the menu options. Then you're all set up. You basically are using your Bluetooth and or this to range find it. And it'll pop your little dot on there, but the dot represents your point of aim. I hope this helps you sort of get your head around how to do it. Once you figure out how to do it, once I got my head around it, I can do it real easily. And I can go back and uh, true this even easier if I build some sort of something to shoot off of that will be a little more adjustable and work better and hold this thing steady. I just can't hold it steady at the longer distances. I was doing real good in the backyard on the Caldwell Deadshot Field Pod where I have support both here and here but i don't have that up here always something right so you add a new piece of equipment it's going to change things i add the scope all of a sudden this becomes a problem but i can tell you that this scope is staying on this crossbow long term it really suits it very nicely this is set up for longer range shooting a little better than uh, the old bungee is right although i am going to try this scope on that other crossbow uh, figure out a cheap piece for that but every time you change one thing it changes other things that's just the nature of crossbows right nature of life check out some of these other videos there's lots of fun Death by Bungie out there already, and there's plenty more coming up as Crossbow Appreciation Month comes your way. All hail Bungie. Bungie.